Oh, hi all, gozaimasu, and welcome back to DML. So today, the new Spread the Love chain breeding event for the Aphrodite Dragon is back, and as such, we'll be checking how we can breed this divine dragon. So, obviously, if you're someone that doesn't have any divine dragons, getting a hold of the Aphrodite would be super handy. She is a divine fire and water dragon, and... You know, she's not the best divine out there, but she definitely looks pretty swanky. And so, in the Spread the Love event, it explains how we can possibly get a hold of her. So, it says that you need to breed the Hearts Dragon, using the Dragon of the Week combo being the Tornado and Candy. And then when you get a hold of the Hearts Dragon, you need to breed that with a Leaf Dragon to be able to give you a chance of breeding Aphrodite herself. And so, you know, we did already take a look at our chances of breeding the Hearts Dragon. It's not the most difficult Dragon of the Week to breed, but it's also kind of annoying because at the moment, you know, we do have the Love Potion Party event ongoing. And the main problem is that on certain tiers like level 4, there are quests that require you to breed elemental hybrids. So if you're trying to breed for the the Aphrodite dragon while you're doing the other event, it's actually going to put you behind a little bit. But if we want to check what the actual odds are of breeding Aphrodite herself, all that we need to do is pop in a dragon that has the same elements as the Hearts dragon and put the Leaf dragon in, and we can see what the possible outcomes look like. So luckily for us, we do have a hold of the Ceramic dragon, which has the same elements, and then we have the Leaf dragon. So this does not give us the chance to breed the Aphrodite because it has to be the Hearts dragon, but the other possible results are going to be the same. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different possible outcomes, I believe. Yeah, that's eight. So that means that the Aphrodite would be the ninth possible outcome from that heart dragon combination. And so, overall, your chances of breeding the Aphrodite are not particularly high. They're going to be around about the 1% mark, because, you know, the Aphrodite is a divine dragon. So, divines are tough to breed, but they do have a very, very long breeding time that is way over any of the breeding times for these dragons, because divines, I think it's something like a three-day breeding time. So, overall, you will be able to tell instantly when you have a hold of her. So, first things first, if you actually want to have a chance of breeding the Aphrodite, try and breed that heart's dragon. So, you know, good luck to everyone that is going for it. The sooner you manage to breed the hearts, the better off you're going to be. So, I hope that that make, makes sense of how the chain breeding events work. So, you know, it just means that you have to breed one dragon and then breed another dragon as a result. But I think the good thing about this event is the fact that we don't require the potion dragon to actually, you know, have a chance of breeding the Aphrodite. But it does feel like we have two very different events ongoing at the same time, where competing in one of them diminishes your chances of actually getting the reward from the other. So I guess in this instance, you have to choose. Would you rather have a chance at breeding the Aphrodite, or would you rather put in the, the hard effort and just go straight for the, the Love Potion Dragon? Well, I mean... You can finish the Love Potion Party event within, what is it, two and a half days minimum if you, you, you know, got on it like a car bonnet, but, you know, not many people are going to be able to finish it in such a short span of time. But I, I am happy that instead of requ requiring the actual solo event dragon, they have not done it like that this time. So, you know, thank you for doing that game, Loft. Last time it was a disaster with the Cosmos dragon. At least we don't have to do that this time. But I still think that overall the odds of you actually getting the Aphrodite Dragon are not very high, purely because of the Dragon of the Week requirement to get her. Like, the way that I feel that chain breeding events should be done is... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is dying at the moment. But they should, like, give us a week's notice before the actual chain breeding event itself begins. But give us the dragon that we need for the chain breeding event that week before. So that then, the first week, we have to breed or get the chain breeding event main dragon, and then the second week is when the chain breeding itself actually starts. I think that would make a lot more sense, and would be a lot fairer for the players, because as it sits at the moment, you know, 
You have to breed the Hearts Dragon, you have to hatch the Hearts Dragon, and then you get to start actually trying to breed for the Aphrodite. So I think it is made intentionally difficult or near impossible on purpose, unfortunately, but not quite as impossible as, say, the Cosmos event. So I guess there's something to be slightly grateful for at the end of the day, although that's not saying a whole lot. But overall, that is everything that I had to say about this new chain breeding event. I have quotes because we have had this chain breeding event before, but it was using the ginger dragon instead. Ooh, two extraordinary legendary. Hell yes, give me that. Oh, that's enjoyable. Like, look at that. We are getting closer and closer to fully, fully enchanting Andy by the day. We're actually getting super close now. I'm excited. I hope you are as well, but... You know, like I said, those are the approximate chances of breeding Aphrodite. Best of luck with getting all of these current dragons and finishing off the mini solo event. You're gonna need it. I am gonna be super busy with stuff and not really around for the next couple of days, so... In case I don't upload much more else, I guess, see you for now. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. <laughs> but, anyway, take care, and until next time, I will see you then.